Hi. Hi. It's us. We're back. You show the microphone and stuff it until so we can split yeah. out there. I can bring it closer. Well, maybe you don't have to. I'm just asking if it's... Well, I had moved it back when we were putting all that stuff. The microphone's plenty close. I say, you'd be in another room and talking with the microphone to pick you up. Are you saying I got a big mouth? No. I didn't say that. So, uh, if you watched the last video we put up, Yesterday. it was uh, last Saturday when we went to a church for ourselves. It was in which was indoors, so... Well, it was indoor-outdoor. Yeah, yeah, but... Uh, I could use my wheelchair to get around in, and so I had been waiting for one to come up. And then uh, a town that we literally can... There it is. Uh, was having a garage sale at their historic museum. Museum? Historical museum? I don't know, but then I started to say, well, aren't all museums historic? But no, art museums this, aren't. No, but this was like an old house. Yeah, so it's made it the town of Benton's history. It holds yeah. all the stuff of yeah. the town, the little bitty town, the last, yeah. nice little town. Small anyway, house. they were trying to have uh, raise some funds for, you know, odds and ends. So I said, oh, I was doing so well. I said, let's go and check that one. And so we hit two Saturday. Yay. Um, the church one was kind of weird. I'd never been to one like that before. Um, you walk in the door and they tell you that there's no prices on anything. No, no prices. That it's a love offering garage sale. And you just pay what you think whatever it is you want is worth. I don't know. It's been, all free. I know. I've been thinking <laughs> about it. Um, I don't know if they were too lazy to price the stuff. Uh, were they trying to guilt you into paying more because it was a church? Um, you know, it was just strange. I mean, I kind of was like, I don't know. So I told Max to count how much we got, and we got, what, 26 items? Or well, I think four. we got more than that. Yeah, yeah, we got, well. I wasn't keeping track, and then I wasn't going to dump the bag out all over the place just to count them all again. So I was guessing, like, 25, 30 items. So. Yeah, we gave him $26. Yeah. I figured a, a dollar an item, and then there was some stuff probably wasn't worth but maybe 50 cents. Um, But it was just strange. And I, I see the garage sales and stuff that... Um, Everybody else goes to. I really just, just y'all get really, really good stuff. By the time it gets to a garage sale here, even Goodwill don't want it. I mean, it's you just don't. Get, yeah, they're not real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stuff is good. Anyway. That's kind of another reason I kind of like estate sales, um, but you can get some, you know, bad stuff there too. But anyway. Um, and we out. also, we got so much stuff, Max had to get a box and put it over by the checkout ladies. And they were just letting people go through our box. Yeah. People started shopping out of our box. And they were like, well, we're not responsible for your box. This will didn't lie. Well, why'd you tell us to put it here? Yeah. You know? But anyway, I'll see what we got. And yeah. We don't, it was, do you remember what we got at Benton? I got that separated. That's, oh, okay. That's what we so got. all of this, till the we say, we go through is, is going to be. Twenty-six dollars. Yeah. That is a Jello Tupperware, Tupperware mold. Jello mold. Yeah. And I have the lid for it. Uh, Do you I have always, it there? Is it there? No, I think I have it. Oh, you have it. You have it somewhere else. Yeah, I have. Oh, okay. I pick up any Tupperware that's like twenty-five cents or fifty cents. See, that's my mother had those. This comes off. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. Didn't and it so. comes with different ones for holidays. Cute. That's the 4th of mm -hmm. July. And then they have like uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas oh, and different slick. ones. Yeah, my mom had that. Um, And I think, but I pick, like I said, I pick up tough work 25, 50 hey, cents. Yeah. Um, and somewhere down the road, I'll find, if I don't have the bottom, I'll find the bottom. And these sell just on their own anyway. People have got. The bottom. Remember the bottom? Something's wrong with their bottom. They need their bottom changed? Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know. Top Warrior used to be Lifetime. I don't know if it still is or not. You could, I mean, I, I even people have even uh, brought stuff to Tupperware parties I've been to and said, here, this doesn't work anymore. I'm legs like we don't make that anymore. I'll see what I can do. I don't know. And I picked up these because um, drawing and painting books usually do pretty well. Uh, so I thought, eh, get on me in books. I haven't checked. We haven't, we haven't gone through this yet. Um, this was kind of interesting. We found this. Well, no, it's the opposite. Well, we didn't find this first. We found this second. Yeah. We found this second. And in here is just, none of the pieces are in here. It's just, well, the uh, checker oh, pieces sure. are in here, right? No. Okay. No, we're nothing. Okay. See, you should have showed the other one first. Well, I don't know what the other one is. It's in the other bag here, I think. Well, you know I'm going to try and find that first? Well, that, the whole story is backwards. Oh, I see him. I see him. Damn. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. We see this is these what we found first. Laying on a table all by themselves. These two bags. Yeah. And they're glass. They are glass. One's yeah. clear and one's frosted. Yeah. And there's there's nothing to go with them. And I told Michael, so, well, you know, we always run across chess boards that don't have the pieces. So go ahead and pick those up. And the next time we find a chess board, we'll have pieces for yeah. it. Well, then two bottles we over on another table. With all the instructions, we find. Come on, over there. The well, this is a uh, backgammon. This is a backgammon board. Yeah. And it has the backgammon pieces in there. Yeah, but it's not the chessboard. No. Yeah, there's all the backgammon pieces all scattered all. But over. um. Some reason I thought it was. Yeah, well, right. this all, I guarantee you this all went together, and the chessboard was in there at one time. Well, the yeah, so. That's probably what. Well, oh, that's why there's two pieces of styrofoam. Yeah. See, there's the other piece. Yes. So the chessboard is not there. Yeah. But. But anyway, we can sell it as a glass back down and set. And like I say, we always find chess boards that don't have their pieces, so. Uh, I don't know if some go for good money and some don't. But we don't know what we're going to be. A dollar, I guess, to play. Then you got to solve the puzzle of how they all go together. Yeah, I'm very impatient. I just work up my neck. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm going to have to. Uh, Those 500 books I got are right here. Yeah. I'm working on them. I'm working on them. Let's see that right there. It takes me a while, you know. All right. Got other stuff to do. No, with one bag. One minute? No, no, no. The bag. Oh, we got one. I forgot we got the bag. Yeah, we saw this bag. We really liked it. Nice yeah. love of Woody's. I like old cars. So we got that too. Woody bag. Let's see. So. We have so many reusable bags, and we use them. We're very good about um, using them. We try to not bring home plastic bags, but people insist sometimes they will put. We'll say we have our own bags, and they'll put it in a plastic bag and put it in our bag. I don't know. It's a back scratcher and a shoehorn. Yes. And you will see. Once I get to it, while we bought this, Max has got about 50 of these around the house. See? Yeah, uh, uh, uh. a little finger. You can see that, little, that one little one finger? finger is bent. Yeah, poor thing. He's unpacking. I'm trying to find <laughs> I was hoping to find the rest of the things. Like, well, I'll just set that aside. And we'll oh, okay. I like this Max Zip. I thought it was I cute. Oh, yeah, I've seen them before. It's, uh, but uh, if you ever want to know what type of. I thought it'd be cute for like, uh, a beauty shop or a barbershop or 
man cave, something like that. I mean, you know, twelve ninety five, fourteen ninety five, pay a dollar for it. Why not? I have a friend I play bridge with who collects anything piggy. So whenever I find something piggy, unless it's going for a whole bunch of money, I uh, give it to her so she can get that. That goes over to the. Oh, that goes over to the other, the other place. I keep the tie, a chair by the door that for people that I'm giving things to. I had never seen these before. They scream 60s to me, but I have, they could be 80s. I don't know. Um, three six. The Rubbermaid. These were. These at the uh, museum. Yep. Oh, we got these. They were sitting on the table. They were stacked all the way up like this. Oh, on the table yeah. at the church. They're always stacked. And we saw that and we went, what the? Oh. Yeah, there were <laughs> six of them and they're really. They're really tough. Dirty plastic. Yeah. Rubbermaid cups. We always had Tupperware in my house though. We never had Rubbermaid. I think Rubbermaid came along later. My mother was brand loyal. Um, so, I don't know. Check these out. Hopefully, these will be, like I say, you know, I don't, I don't have to make a, a mint on things. I'm perfectly content to make some profit. This is a Yankee Candle tart burner. Yeah. Still new. Uh, and I know these do well if they get past my house. And it's got some tarts in it. But we like scented candles too. So, I don't know. Everybody always needs lamp oil. Yeah, we have a bunch of lamps downstairs. Kerosene yeah. lamps in case the power goes out. Yeah. Um, so this was just on the fire one. I said, you want to grab it? And he yeah. said, yeah. Yeah. Hills Department Store. Well, that is vintage. Dollar and nine, eight cents. Dollar eight cents for a bottle of lamp oil? Oh, 22 bit, fluid ounces. A little bit more than that now. Yeah. Made in Wisconsin, honey. Yeah. yeah. Brookfield, Wisconsin. Brookfield. North side of Milwaukee. Oh, yeah, this is the with that they have, and I have not. This is I never look stuff up. Well, if you it was don't never, if it was not. like twenty dollars or more, I would look it up. I mean, I wouldn't just buy and go oh. But they had a ton of these old metal shoehorns that have businesses on, and they had some plastic plastic ones. Um, and they had like this is a hotel. I don't know which one, but um, there. Uh, and but I'm gonna do a lot of uh, just all the old shoehorns, and uh, hopefully we can pay a dollar piece for these. This was counted like at one dollar. This is just the. This is we already have. This is our Home Depot bag, and it's. Big stretchy bag, got little handles and tickets to the lines of the racks. Yeah, this is really neat. It has the shoes. You can't see it, but it has the shoe stores engraved on the metal. I didn't notice. Yeah, see Han. Oh, yeah. This says Han. That? That's neat. Yeah. All right. So that's gonna be a lot. And then I had heard somewhere somehow that these old. Uh, Pencil sharpeners were they would they sell they sell yeah. good. It looks like it will clean up. I mean, they sell good. Yeah, and it, that that's the screws inside of it. It's got yeah, the screws to mount, screws. The mounting screws are there. Um, and it's a midget Apsco midget. So I know I sold I just sold some old office stuff. This, uh, no, no, no more mugs, Debbie. No more mugs, but this, this isn't just a mug. It has a spoon with it. Yeah. It's a mug with a spoon. Yeah. And it's contoured handle. And it says what? Uh, Barcelona. Uh, Barcelona. 
That's as close as I'm getting to it. So, I don't. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe no, it's a very, It's an interesting mug, that's for sure. There's nothing on the bottom. I don't drink coffee and I don't drink tea and neither does Max. So, yeah. well, what's a spoon for? Just to stir your cream or something in? We don't know. I just thought it was very pretty. It looks like a, it's a mosaic. It's not. It's oh, ceramic. But it looks mosaic. Really pretty. So, yeah. Tell us what the hole, the spoon and the hole is for. Yeah. We haven't looked. Like I said, we just I'm packing this stuff down. And then we just found. I thought these were salt and pepper shakers. Yeah. But they're not. They're not. <laughs> just, I guess you put them like in a fairy garden or something. Yeah. Yeah, I got somebody, my mom used to do ceramics, it says L-M on the bottom. Yeah, this one says also. Mom and Dad did all her stuff, though. This person didn't. I guess so. It's a mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, I just have a friend on Facebook a post a, a fairy garden she made in her yard. Oh, so cute. And she had one of those little uh -huh, doors, and she had put it on a tree, you know, like they live in the tree. Uh, yeah, the jewelry. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was, everything was whatever you wanted to pay. So, they didn't have... I wasn't really impressed. I was kind of actually was disappointed. But, um... Yeah, this is Tacoa. I actually used... I knew Tacoa when I worked in shop for, like, costume jewelry for myself. But, you know, it's funny. I haven't heard anything about Tacoa since I've been, I know that's why I picked that up. Nice. We used to see those all the time in um, North Georgia in the mountains. Those are those. Um, they call that. Uh, I know, that's what I'm trying to think of. Yep. But you see these kind of bracelets all the time. Uh, and I like that. It's definitely vintage. And these were from Miller and Rhodes, and they were 99 cents originally. Yeah. Oh, they're three bags. Yeah, they're three so they're vintage. They're pretty too. I can't quite tell what the stone, maybe a gold brown. What was that one? What's that? Peace Hope. Oh, Kim Rivers. Love. And there's a couple more screw backs. Yeah, I think, um, did they have... I don't even know if I look to see the names. Know. I swear I'm gonna take my magnifying glasses, which are hanging right there with me every time I go somewhere, and I never do. Oh, there's buttons. Yeah, those may not go over either. Yeah. Uh, I these are buttons. I collect buttons. These, and these, these are really old. Yeah, but these they're are vintage. also vintage. Yeah, yeah, these are also vintage. vintage. Yeah. I saw these. These here, you don't, you'd be hard pressed to sew these on anymore because they don't sew buttons on this way anymore. Nope. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and some of those I think, or I mean, not they're like I say, they're probably staying with me. Yeah. But some of these. These are very vintage. Are um, yeah. I think brand name. You know how you buy like a Ralph Lauren blazer or something? It's cockeyed. You can't save it. But then you uh, cut the buttons off and you can put it on something else and it looks really nice. So, yeah, I thought maybe it's one they were doing. But all right, when I was growing up, my mom cut the buttons off of everything before she... Uh, That's what my mom did, too. Threw it away. Well, when, my mom did the same thing. When you go looking for... We have a button, Tim. You know, when you oh, need yeah. a button, you go looking. Yeah, these are really old. Yeah, we had a button tin that was... Almost a little more than a foot. It was an oval one, tin. Ours was a fruit tin. Yeah, our, well, ours had handles and had a cover, but my mom never put the cover on it, which she learned to regret oh. because our cat had kittens and the cat kept training. The cat actually tried to train the kittens to use the litter box. Well, one day mom went to go sew on some buttons. She reached in her button box and screamed when the button box was filled almost up to the top with kitty pee. You can't get kitty pee out. No, no, you can't, because the cats, the mama cat was raising them in the living room, and the sewing machine was in the living room, and the litter box was way out in the kitchen, so the little kitties said, oh, this digs just like the sand does, and they yeah, started that's using that. Crazy. That's a little little Liz Claiborne. It's a crazy horse, which I guess is her brand. It says what it is. It's pretty. Oh, there's the other one. I knew there was another one. Yeah, yeah, and Apple yeah, does, those, too. Yeah. These here are neat looking little buttons. 
some lady's church coat or something. Yeah. Yeah, I've been ignoring my button collection. <laughs> like I got time. And I heard brass is in. Yeah, everybody, brass is in. It's definitely brass. You can so, get out with those. Um, they had some, but all of it was that light, like flimsy stuff. But yeah, this one is really heavy. And plus, it's I think it's a crane. Is it a crane? Yeah, it looks like a crane, yeah. So, I could be wrong. It might be something else. We'll see. It's not marked at all. But yeah, we'll try. Then we got a rubber stamp, but this may not be going anywhere. Yeah. I but collect I mean, those. Uh, yeah. Max collects rubber stamps, especially yeah. ones that are places that that's about as close as we're getting to. Or back to. Yeah. Yeah, I bought some. Went to the grocery store today, and I did the numbering thing. Except I didn't look at the list. I was just kind of guessing. She walked past the list and yeah. just tried to remember everything that was on it. I, I did, didn't I? You did. You only missed one item. No. Yeah. And I brought home 30 things. <laughs> there was only five on five, the list. Uh, five on, well, six on the list. But. but he goes. And then, like, he bounced what's on the list. And, I mean, that's fine. But then I'm like, it's lunchtime or whatever. And it's like, what are we going to eat? And there's nothing. There's nothing. And when I go, I go, da, 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 da. Just, I keep telling you, you're supposed to eat before you go to the store. I was really hungry. She was hungry. And... I, left, I went from acupuncture, which is going pretty well, by the way. I actually made it about probably 15, 20 minutes at the grocery store before I really started hurting. So that's a huge that's a improvement. Yep. So, but yeah, so I went, I thought I'll run by the grocery store and say, Max, the trip of having to go out. But I was starving. I was so hungry. So, yeah. And, yeah. We had soup for lunch. We had soup. Yeah. It, which, yeah, this whole week has been, it started what, Sunday or Monday? Sunday. It got hot. Torrential. Oh, the, the rain didn't start till Monday night. Yeah, torrential thunder and lightning yeah. and just raining and raining and raining, which they say we're low and we need it. But, um, we ain't low no more, boy. <laughs> yeah, and it's supposed to go through. You just pour it again here, just about an hour ago. What's it supposed to go through? Till uh, the beginning of next week. Yeah. Every day. I just don't like to have to get out in it, and I'm. I'm having to, and Daisy is terrified of it, and she still has her helmet yeah. shame on. Yeah. Um, we took it off for a short while today, but no, nope, as soon as we did, she was going after that stitches. And yeah, she goes Friday, to Friday, get, Friday. She goes back Friday for them to check and get the stitches out. Hopefully, she gets yeah. her helmet shame off. Yeah. Um, she bites her toenails, and it's driving her nuts because she can't get to them. Okay. Yeah, she keeps them short. She bites them herself. We don't have to do it. So, but I found these. Oh, remind me so much of my daddy. My daddy always had a cloth so, handkerchief. My dad did too. He always had a cloth handkerchief. And my mama always ironed them and starched them, which yeah. I didn't figure out why that felt good on your nose. But anyway, yeah. So I thought also I could lock these up um, and see how see how they're going. It just yep. they definitely oh, maybe Etsy. Yeah, this would be Etsy. They're vintage, that's for sure. Yeah, never been mm -hmm. open. My dad always got them for a Father's Day and Christmas. And I needed some plain cards um, just to write little notes and stuff. And so... This is... Well, let me close this back up. I, all I have is, like, birthday cards. Oh, hi, baby. You poking in here. Mm -hmm. Say hi again. Uh, so anytime I see, you know, like that. Front here it says the American Museum of Natural History. Is what that says up there. And then it's inside is more cards and envelopes. With them. And we got interesting cards. Envelopes and then more cards. Yeah, let's just grab a bunch of cards here out of here. We got duplicates. I don't know there's duplicates in there. They're working. I don't think it's the same one. I think they just piled the cards on one place. Yeah, well, I know it says the National Museum. I know. I'm saying they, they probably, if you don't, every time they put the cards out, you got another box. Ah. I used to get tons of stuff like this. 
I actually used to sell them on eBay. I'd get like 50 or 100 and I'd put them on eBay and sell them. I got so many because anytime you donate to something, you know, they send you something. Um, well, yeah. Oh, two mice, two wireless. Wireless Logitech mice. They got the little uh, transmitter is inside them on each one. So all they need is a battery, and they they should work. I'll test them and make sure they do work. Yeah, I love Logitech. I've got yeah. a Logitech mouse that's how old? Well, we just replaced that one. Oh, did we? Yeah. You stuck it in. Don't you remember? It started getting to when the scroll wheel wouldn't work on it. You had that mouse. Before we moved here, you had that back in Baton Rouge. My son gave it to me. Yeah, my son gave it to her, and uh, she's used that mouse a very long time. I like it. And, alright. That was my it. first non hooked up mouse. Yep. I really like that. Now I have sold these many times before. I don't know if that is that, is that the way it's supposed to go. Or? I have never seen one with that there. Yeah. They are See, normally course, you don't have this little round piece of glass. I've never seen that in one. Um, and this thing, these are there, for flower like arranging. And it looks like that. So we can, you know, if you're not a pro and don't know them, just go sit out of your yard and put some in there, and you'll have them all nice and arranged. But for some reason, and I don't know, uh, yeah. this may have. Been there. Maybe they've always done uh, this way. I have never seen one with that piece of glass. So. Uh, uh, to me, it just doesn't look right within there. Well, but. and it may have been something the uh, flowers they were putting too. If they were tall, they would have oh, made it yeah, some height yeah, because this height to the stuff. middle. Oh, okay. But uh, I didn't that. yeah, so I've That's sold these with orbs. They're neat. I have another kitty thing. I thought that was really Chasing cute. Chasing the mouse. There's yeah. a 1984 Lowell Herrero Vander made in Japan. Now, are we in the... the... No, we're still in the... Oh, yeah. We're still in that $25. We haven't gone past that $25. This is the box I'm trying to pull out of is what people were shopping out of. Oh. So I don't know if everything we originally put in there is in there still. I don't remember. So, that's okay. so yeah, I thought that was cute. Oh, and this is that. There, we saw this, and I've never yeah, seen that. Yeah, we well, he. It's, it's a Tupperware. But it's a Tupperware, and I had never seen the mark on the bottom. It says Tupper Craft. Tupper Craft, yeah. C R A F T. And I had never seen that before. And she's just up there on the bed trying to rearrange the sheets. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and it, so it looks like, uh, I don't know, you know, like it, thread or, actually the first thing I said was there. fishing lures. I don't know, I guess it's not a craft. I suppose you could do that. Um, but yeah, I've never seen. Oh, for people who like tie flies, make their own fishing lures. Well, yeah, but this it's probably for, for ladies. I mean, how many men are you going to have to go to a Tupperware? Uh, um, that's true, but maybe they provide something for the women to buy for the man. That's true. Wanted to get that mark, but yeah, I never seen one. Copper craft. Yeah. Tell me if you've seen one. Blue, nice blue color. I never. No, I don't think I've seen this blue color either. A, uh... You think it's an old stand there? I, I mean, literally, uh, we're talking a dollar, <laughs> a dollar. <laughs> and we he sit there debating. No, it's you. I say get it, and he's like, what for? What for? It's you know. I said I don't even know what it is, and I'm like, it's a dollar. Get it. Yeah. And he will, it drives me nuts doing that. I mean, we probably have walked by $500 worth of stuff because he is old stuff. stubborn. He uses a big old C cell. He thinks if he does something on it, nobody else does. Well, of course nobody else would want it. Why, why would they want something like that? Yeah. And I've tried and tried and tried to explain to him. He don't get the whole VCR <laughs> thing. The uh, carry it, you know, wherever VHS you go. thing. The 8 track. He don't get it. Well, it's obsolete. Why would they want it? Um, well, this is interesting. Yeah, this he liked. This is, I'm not really sure what exactly what it's supposed to do, but... Uh, well, and I said, this is something else. I said, yeah. And he's like, 
you know, checking it. No, I'm looking at it, and then when I'll put a price with it, and it's got one for each leg. It's for deep vein thrombosis. And it's got the power unit for it, and the hookups, and everything's there. And he's like, we probably can't sell it on eBay. It has probably have to have a prescription. It's a medical device. Nani nani poo poo. And I'm like, it's a dollar. Yeah. Get it. We'll donate it to Goodwill if we can't sell it. Yeah. I actually, what is that thing that Marine that goes to the auction with us? He wears something on his leg. I'm right in that same place. Oh, yeah. But, uh, no, he's got the knee brace. He's got the knee brace. It's below his knee. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Don't know. Enhances blood circulation, diminishes po post-operative pain and swelling, and reduces wound healing time. We'll check. Alright. Now. We didn't get much of the yeah. museum. No, we're still not there yet. No. Still pulling stuff out of the Oh, box. I forgot about those. I I, I like those. I saw these either. Neat. Um, when I first I wasn't sure if the... When I first it looked like the latches didn't work, so I took a closer look and I realized, oh, it's... Anyway. Yeah, I think these are great for if you collect tiny little... You know, thimbles or miniature animals. Or Two. I've seen people do flowers in them. Three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Got four of them. Got four of them. Yeah. Pack stuff back in the box. I don't know. I may have to. Nah, I don't know. What? I was thinking I might keep one for something, but. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Well, yeah, but I don't think my pixies would fit in there. Oh, yeah, I think your pixies would fit in there. I collect pixies. Green oh, berries. You got two different sizes of But they have to be green. The green's my favorite color. Yeah. Well, that would be nice for them because it would keep the dust off of them. They're in a glass cabinet now. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're on the shelf. No, that's... Well, yeah. Yeah. It They're in my closes. jewelry. They're in the jewelry cabinet. Okay. All right, we're done with the 25. That was all 20, the $25. Yeah, that was all 26. 26. So, how many was 25? That was 26. Okay, it's 26. Okay. Now we're going to the next sale. This was a quarter. Yeah. Tupperware. Tupperware. Do we still have ours like this, or we get rid of them? Well, actually, he gave us a discount with all, everything. Uh, I don't know if we still have ours like that. Well, you know, I you know, have I a set. I think we there. wore it out. They were Finally. green, orange, brown, and gold, and they were graduated sizes. Yeah, I had that whole set. I like those because they're the only ones I can burp. Last time, Max was making lemon bars. Lemon bars. I went to go, I needed to juice the lemons, and I'm starting to go through, okay, we've got the lemon juice here. It's right here. And I open up the door, and it's like, I don't know, lemon juice there. And I'm going through the whole kitchen, and I can't. As soon as I go to put this away in the kitchen, I'm going to find our juicer. <laughs> I know we that. had a plastic one. We had a glass, glass one, one. And we had one that you put, put over her. like a measuring cup so you could yeah. see how much you were doing. So we had three. We had three. Three. I can't find any of them. And he couldn't find any of them. And I already told you about this. Pyrex lit all by itself. Yeah. We brought it home with us. I don't even remember it. What was that? Uh, you didn't say how much the thing was. Oh, this was a dollar. Oh. But actually, it's probably That's less actually than that. vintage. Because when you add it all up, there it, it came. The total came to like more than uh, it was like twelve or thirteen dollars. And he said, "Give me eight bucks," and so I gave him eight bucks. Yeah, this is vintage. Very nice. Oh, this is this is. I like this one. Yeah, I got this. I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is uranium glass. Yeah. Uh, we just got to get the black light out and shine it out, and you'll know for sure. Yeah, it's in the photo room. Yeah. But it does have a chip. I found it there the other day. Do you remember where it was? Oh, there it is. I found it. Right there. It's right there. Let me get the black light. Where is the black light? Did you put it down there or is it over there? Uh, it might be on my desk. Oh, okay.
She, just talk among yourselves for a little bit, and we'll be back. Well, you used to carry it in your purse, but I know you quit doing that. Did you put it on the table in there? Well. Which war? I haven't been in any of them myself, but. Ow. Oh, uh oh. She's finding things. Found it! Alright! Okay. Okay. Man, hold it. Okay, I think I'll turn this one off, maybe. Any. Oh, yes! He lights up. Geranium glass. So I think we paid $4 for it. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know. Let me turn off this one up here. Oh, yeah. I think this. Back. I don't know. But go ahead and turn it back on. Yeah. Yeah. They wanted $4 for it. And I told Max, I said, that's uranium glass. Can you turn that one on? Yeah, it is kind of dark. Yeah. And he found the chip, and I said, I don't care. Uh, it's really, uh, it's a beautiful piece of glass with the cut work and all that. And I said, I think even with the damage, which it's not like if you just look at it, you don't go, oh, look at that big chip or whatever. Uh, I think I will do well with it. It's the first piece of uranium glass I've ever found out in the wild. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I like this. This is kind of neat. Yeah. It's uh, a pipe ashtray. Well, actually, it's a pipe and... I think you can have the little thing there for cigarette if you want or a cigar. Cigarette or a cigar. Just good yeah, I just like the look of it. I, I love that? the colors. 50 cents? Yeah. 50 cents. 50 cents. 50 cent. uh, no marking at all. Uh, so it's probably somebody, you know, mama or what. My mother did a cigar thing. Cigar. Um, pipe thing for my brother when she was doing ceramic, but. I just really like this one. I love the way they did the colors. It's not, you know, it doesn't, I don't know. But, yeah, I really like it. Yeah. So. And this is our last item. Okay. And I really yeah. liked that. It's a, it's not Power X. It's, it's a, a ovenware. Ovenware, made in USA. Yeah, and what does it say at the top? Two six three dash two and a half quart. Yeah, two and a half quart. And so a half quart. yeah, I hadn't ran that across this one before. Um, I wonder. Oh, I didn't even notice that. There's a scratch on it. Yeah, it, all those appliques, it's easy to do yeah, that. I didn't notice that. But uh, yeah, I've never seen this one before. Uh, mm -hmm. What is it? Glass plate. I don't know. Did you say it was glass baked? No, you have to ask me again. It's oven, ovenware. Yeah, I've never heard of ovenware. I've never heard of ovenware. I've heard of glass bake, Fire King, Pyrex, Corel, Corning. Never heard of that one. But, uh, yeah, I liked it. So, That's it. Is that it? That's everything. Okay, let's see. What else? Anything else you want to show them? You can say we still haven't. No, Thanks no, no, no. whoever, I don't, I don't know, and I'm sorry. Uh, whoever said that that probably is. Wool. Yeah, but you, what is it, raw? Raw, un, unprocessed wool. Unprocessed wool, thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. That will be a help in looking it up to get it listed. Um, what are we doing? Uh, I was going to start my water aerobics this week, but. It rained. And it rained, and it rained. And, and the pool rained. is indoors, but, but 
uh, we went to this place. We had a membership one time before and used to go. And they shut the pool. Like, if one lane drop hits the, the roof, they're like, okay, pool shut. Yeah. So I didn't want to, you know, you they're, know. They're all worried about lightning. We're indoors. They're all worried about lightning and people getting electrocuted in the pool. Which I haven't quite figured out the logic behind that yet. They're just but worried about injuries and stuff. A truck drives by and they say, Thunder, close the pool. Yeah, so I didn't know. I was going to go today. I'm trying to get and go. I'm trying to get and go. You're going to try and go. Uh, I'm doing acupuncture Wednesdays and Fridays. So I was going to try to go to, they have a morning class at 1045. And I was going to try to go to the water aerobics. Come home, change, and then go straight to acupuncture on Wednesdays and Fridays and see how that went. But um, I may not get to go Friday either because they're it's saying it's not. Yeah. Again. Uh, I'm feeling, like I said, I'm feeling really good. Oh, the weird thing on my, what they thought was my gland oh, over yeah. here. Went to the ENT Tuesday. I'm telling you, you think I'm lying. I get stuff that nobody on earth has ever heard of before. But this has been going on two years. It's taken this long to figure out what's going on. And the, the, it's always, I, I sit there and I wait for it when we go in there and the doctor comes in and he goes, you know, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. I always know they're going to say that because <laughs> it's her. Um, I have a tooth somewhere out here. I'm not sure where. Um, but the CAT scan I had, or whatever, was it was it an MRI? I don't know what it was. It was CAT scan. Uh, I've had so many friggin' tests. Um, showed that the root of one of these teeth over here has come detached from the tooth. So there's this little bitty, little bitty spot. The if spot you've seen those uh, pins that have like the round heads on them, you know, like the straight pins, it's about that big, the round thing. And it just floats, and he kept saying this, and it aggravated me, in my fatty tissue. He kept saying, it's just floating over here in your fatty tissue. And I'm like, can you call it something else? I know you I got, that word I just I got hog tissue. jowls, and I know I got hog jowls. But do you have to keep saying it over and over? Over here in your fatty tissue, it's just floating and floating and floating. And every now and then it gets somewhere, and your body goes, I don't like it there. So it flares up, and then it goes away again. And, so, I said the only way to get it out would be going to go to an oral oh, oh. surgeon. Well, I said it's one of two things. It's either the tip of the root has come loose or it's an, a little abscess no. down in there. Well, you know you. There's no pain. Yeah. But abscesses can sit dormant and not do anything. Well, he said I could go to an oral surgeon and they would. Yeah. Well, either way. you got to go to a dentist first and let them see the stuff and they'll the dentist will say well they need they'll have to take the tooth out yeah. i do not i am really really weird i don't have fabulous teeth but they're all mine and i got all of them and i have this real hang up because i grew up really really poor and you know nobody you know everybody in the neighborhood like had three or four teeth and um my mother my sister and my brother all had dentures before they were 30. My dad still had his teeth when he died in his 70s. And I guess, thank you God, I got my father's teeth because there was no dental care in my family until I got out on my own. Um, but it's just, I just have this hang up about, you know, having all my teeth in my head. Uh, and I have spent, I cannot tell you how many root canals and crowns are in this mouth, but I could buy myself a new car probably what I put in this mouth. He, on the other hand, well, my teeth have caused me so much misery on my life. The sooner I get rid of them, the happier I am. And I feel guilty. Like I had to have a crown replaced last fall, and it cost us what fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred dollars. And that was half price. That's half price because they had put the crown on originally. Yeah, and it didn't. They guarantee it for X amount of time, and the crown didn't hold up for that time. So they replaced it for half price of what. They would have done yeah. so fifteen hundred, so three thousand dollars to have one crown done. But um, I think I'm kind of gonna just let it ride. Um, yeah, because 
as little as, I mean, it's bothered me in the two years, but not enough that I would have the tooth taken out. Now, if it really does get really infected and really start, you know, giving me pain and stuff, then I will think, but, um, I really, I just want to keep them all, you know, I'd like to be nice. Me, they can just take them all out and give me dentures and I'd be happy. And I have no, no offense. If you got dentures, fine. And you like them, fine. And, and I say, it's my hang up. It is my hang up. I mean, I probably 50% of the people I know, uh, have dentures and they're, they're actually better looking than my teeth because my teeth are, yeah, I took, um, tetracycline when I was a teenager because I had horrible acne. Well, little did they know at the time it would yellow the teeth permanently. You cannot get the yellow. You can't do anything. The bleaching, nothing gets the teeth yellow again. Um, so my teeth are yellow. It's not like they're pretty pearly white or whatever. Um, but like I say, it's just a hang up from childhood that, you know, it was just, I don't know. I have few hang-ups that's a lie uh but that is one of them is i want my teeth i guess they took it out i could just make a necklace or something out of it and still have it but uh i'd rather keep it in my mouth as long as possible i'm pretty good though i'm yeah. 61 and i have literally have all of them i can't say that no but it, like I say, it's cost a fortune. It's probably money I should have spent somewhere else. I don't know. Well, you spent it. You necessarily you would, you would have spent it somewhere else, and you still would not have had it now. So yeah, like, you did it on something that makes you happy. So yeah, very luckily I have. Uh, when we lived in Louisiana, I had a dentist that I had hold like. Yeah, know, that was a good dentist. Twenty years, and um, he was wonderful about letting you pay him a little bit at a time or I would never have been able to have the stuff I've got in my mouth. And now we have dental insurance through Max's work. Yep. So uh, they cover our cleanings. They cover the cleanings and general x-ray, you know, the annual x-rays and all that. But uh, 50%. It comes to, no, it's they only cover 20% of if you get in a crown or something, they'll only cover 20% of it. So that's. I was gonna say something, but anyway, so they they make you pay. Yeah. We actually pay them, and then the dental insurance sends us the money back. Oh right? no, no! Now they just file it all through insurance. Oh, they? Wait till it get clears because they because that right at first when we started going there, that was not one of the primary insurances that they took took there, but now they do when they got bought out by that other company, and. Uh, yeah, now I've been going to this place. Since we moved here. So. Yeah, I've changed. My dentist retired. Yeah. Um, but now they have two young female dentists right. in the partnership. And I like both of them a lot. I love my dental hygienist. And I go three times a year to get my teeth. I know. I'm telling no, you, I like my teeth. No, you're only supposed to go. You can go once a year. You can go once every six months. Well, the, I go, the insurance pays up to three times a year. Well... I'm just fanatical about my teeth. I go three times a year. You know, I mean, and like I say, it's, I've even started flossing, which I swore I'd never floss. I hate flossing. That is just, but now I sit and watch TV at night. I'll sit there and floss because I got a scared. She scared me one time saying, you're going to lose this tooth if you don't start flossing. So I started flossing like crazy. I, I, isn't it interesting? Wouldn't you like this to be live? We could be chatting about our teeth. I know. I don't know why we don't have more viewers. I really don't. We, oh, we're yeah. just fascinating. What are you going to make me for dinner tonight? Food. Mm. What, what color food do you want tonight? Not green. Not green? No, oh, not. I don't like green. We've got a bunch of greenery up there with, along with the flowers, you know, and cut some of the leaves off. Yeah. Like a salad? Oh, and I do. I don't know. Uh, I was going to say to uh, the. We watch, the, uh, Max watches, he catches some, but I try to watch like six to eight different videos a day um, on the 
other eBayers, Amazoners, yeah. antique movers. I mean, everybody. It's just literally so many people have gone to doing the daily shows. It's really hard to to keep up with everybody, but we do try. Um, we eat our breakfast watching them. Yeah. Um, lunch, lunch is people's court. We don't miss the people's can't, court. Can't miss people's court. No. And when, then, when it goes into off season, then we may start. Yeah, watching we'll start watching something then. Yeah. yeah, we love the idiots on people's court. Yeah. Uh, and then sometimes in the evening, uh, we'll watch a couple before the news come on, and then after he goes into the office at like ten thirty to work some more. And then I stay out here for like another two hours and I'll watch uh, YouTube then or whatever. But um, sometimes I don't say hey or whatever, but I am watching. I'm getting ideas from you, stealing your ideas, um, and getting your tips. Thank you very much. And anything else? I don't think so. Okay. Well, he needs to go and decide what he's going to make me for dinner. Because it's about that time. About did we time. tell him? It's Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Yeah, we did that at the start. Oh, did we? I don't yeah. know. That was a long time ago. We've been on here 50 minutes. Yeah. And it's 7... Mm -hmm. 7.37. It's dinner time. Dinner time, yeah. Ooh, I also miss stuff at the store back. Oh, I love it when I go to the store. Yeah, it's always interesting when you bring home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially when she's hungry, when she brings home. Uh, we don't even like that. I don't care it look good. But anyway... Yeah. I gotta think about it. Don't, Don't get, get so busy, busy making a living, living that you forget, forget to, to make, make a life. And love one another and be kind to strangers, even if they're rude to you. It'll piss them off. Yep. And give somebody a compliment just for no reason. Just tell them their hair Every looks day. nice. Or Every day. Yeah. Sure, if they have on this pretty color, looks good with their eyes or something like that. People need to be treated nicely. And, and give somebody a spider hug. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't do spider hugs. Tell them their teeth look good. Yeah. And they got pretty teeth. I, I would be so. I would just be bowled over if somebody told me that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you got something in your hand. You can't wait. Oh. I'm going to set that down. I'm going to figure out where I'll put it down there. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Bye. 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 Have fun.